I, I would say that um, for our kids to have true friendship really means everything. Well, really what I was hoping for was good influences. Um, me coming from a background where I wasn't involved in the church, I really, I could see the difference for, for a lot of the church kids. And I wanted that kind of influence for, for Noah. I would say that I was hoping and praying for um, his relationships with his friends to be authentic, that he would find friends that have the same moral values. Having those good, solid friendships are important. We prayed that our kids would be, um, that they would have friends who had like values, that were like-minded, that came from families that had um, uh, similar uh, desires. My desire for friendship for my children, um, and JT specifically, would be that they were loving friendships. He would find friendships that were true friendships where they would be there through the thick and thin. I just love to watch them and listen to them because they're hilarious together and they're like brothers except for without the rivalry and without, you know, they do pick on each other but but it's always in love and it's fun and I just, they're hilarious together. Like I would just want to listen to probably anything he has to say because he can pretty much get a laugh anytime he wants it. <laughs> One thing that I think is really funny is watching them stop and pick each other up to go shopping. They'll go shopping through town, they'll go shopping for Christmas presents, whatever, and I think that's funny. Knowing that Noah has um, fostered such strong relationships with other guys um, in church has been a real blessing for us. For us, it's been Jeremiah spending you know, hours and hours building a water slide down our hill so that he can be a good host and, and love his friends and have them over and even putting together a shopping list and you know, preparing food. So just to see him grow into that and, and desire to love his friends and, and to be a servant that way, it's been really fun to watch. For our kids, um, each one of them had uh, a very different friend group and different dynamics in the friend group. But it's not just even the kids that are his age. There are some people who are older who have taken a vested interest in my son. There are people who are younger that really look up to him. Yeah, we, we definitely want Noah and Noah's friends to be, be strong Christians, to be influential. Um, not just with, with each other, but, but be influential when they leave. The friendships came for us over time, you know, so church events, uh, CIY, so it's, it wasn't just like, oh, we want friends to happen, it happened over time. Noah was real purposeful in making sure that he was active in student body on a regular basis. 242 groups are one of the places that, specifically for JT, where he connected with a group of boys that were the same age as him. That's where those friendships started. We were intentional about including him in a village that uh, of people who were going to um, look out for his best interest and that we're going to include him in in their families and and we were just like-minded. I mean that's what draws us together is that we are living in community around um, the cause and the, the kingdom of Christ. I think if you ask Noah, Noah would say he knows the value of the relationships that he has with his with his friends here. But speaking as a 50-year-old guy, it's he really will not realize how precious those relationships are, how important they were in in his growth and development until he matures. That's that's a 10-year, 20-year, 30-year investment that they're going to look back and be able to say because of these things, I've had these advantages in life. Because of these things, I have these relationships that are lifelong relationships that have made a, a difference of forever. And sometimes friends are like a life raft, and you don't really know the value of that friend until you're in the middle of the storm and they're, they're helping you. So he'll know it better as time goes on. These are the friendships that he's going to base a lot of his uh, choices moving forward on 
and that's exactly what I want him to base it on. I, I think JT knows how to be a good friend because of, you know, when scripture says we have a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Um, I think he knows that friend and that translates into all of those other relationships.